in respect to my life and my climb, I've had a pretty charmed um, existence. And I think I've learned the things that I've needed to learn as, I, as I've gone along the way. And so I can't, I don't think I can pick any one thing. Um, I wish that our culture, the African American culture, knew how to, as a, as a culture, not knew how to invest our money better to protect the future. That's, that's just in general. Um, because dance isn't the only industry that's still struggling for economic strength after being in business for 10, 20, 30, however many years. Um, I wish that there was some sort of um, magic wand or place that would help us be able to understand the economic infrastructure of the arts, especially black art. And, and this is not my soapbox, but we all know, uh, all of us that have African-American companies, that when the ballet company in your city goes to the funder and you go to the funder, um, we're now in a time they have to give us both money, but those zeros look very different. <laughs> In Dayton, um, because we are regionally isolated from any, I mean, Dayton didn't collapse, collapse like a Detroit, but Dayton is not as big as Detroit to have the same kind of collapse. Um, we're not going away. I mean, we're almost 50 years old, 50, and my, my dad, who I speak about him as my mom's silent partner because she would never have been able to do this without you know him working in corporate America to support not only the biological family but this large thing that's DCDC as the family and um, we just lost him in November and so there is I mean in September so there's this huge hole there for me but whenever I would say well God we're going into our whatever year and he would look at me and remind me your 48th consecutive year you know, we have never closed our doors, and that's because of grit. You just dig in. I mean, you know, I think all of us ask our dancers to do things beyond what anybody would do in their normal occupation, um, and they do it. I mean, this is a, this is a journey of love. And by the way, I don't believe in the starving artist theory. I don't believe just because you want to dance, you shouldn't be able to support yourself and a lifestyle. And so I guess I wish that we would have figured that out by now.